The word carpus is the anatomical term for the wrist, which is associated with the metacarpal bones of the hand and the radius and ulna of the lower arm. It is a group of eight individual carpal bones, which are the trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate, scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, and pisiform. It is hard to memorize all these, so we have an ancient mnemonic to learn all these with ease. Since these are the bones in your hand, imagine you are trying to catch a butterfly. Think about it. Now, the mnemonic is, she looks too pretty. Try to catch her, where S is the scaphoid, L is the lunate bone, T for the triquetral, P stands for the pisiform bone, then again T for the trapezium, the second T is for the trapezoid, C stands for the capitate, and H for the hamate bone. Every carpal bone has its own extraordinary shape and is multifaceted. These are situated in the two columns of four in the antibrachial area. If we approach for the carpal bones from the lateral side and move towards the medial side, the sequence of bones we have is the scaphoid, leonate, triquetral, and pisiform bone. Making up the mnemonic, she looks too pretty. Now, moving to the distal row, we have the trapezium bone, the trapezoid, the capitate, and the hamid bone. You can remember it by, try to catch her. The mobility of the individual carpal bones allow the freedom of movement at the wrist, like I am moving my wrist. This is your right hand, and here we have the anterior or the palmar view and posterior or the dor dorsal view. So now I'll be telling you another mnemonic to remember all the eight carpal bones. The mnemonic is Selly, left, the, party, to, take, Kathy, home. Sally left the party to take Kathy home. Now we have two surfaces of the carpal bone, the carpal surface and the palmar surface. When we say that the word carpal, I'm sure that the first condition that comes in your mind is the carpal tunnel syndrome. This occurs due to the compression of the median nerve running through the passage in your wrist known as the carpal tunnel. This nerve runs along the length of your arm and ends in your hand. All these carpal bones are named according to the resemblance to real life objects. Let's discuss them individually and learn about what those interesting shapes are and how they take part in the structure and the function of the wrist. It also helps to highlight the important pathological conditions that affects the wrist and the hand.